Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And today we are talking about defenses, base building, and how to defend against the wall wrecker pushes that uh, so often can make or break attacks at Town Hall 10, 11, and 12. You guys might have your bases just getting destroyed by a big push with the wall wrecker, followed by maybe back end hogs or laloon or something. But just because the wall wrecker is pretty much a guaranteed entry through a few layers of walls doesn't mean they necessarily can funnel everything behind the wall wrecker into the base. So this video is about having a few different types of entryways that are good uh, for making it difficult to funnel troops into the base, be it your heroes, bowlers, valks, or whatever else is in the kill squad. So um, this is kind of an old school video, got the Doodle app up, we're going to be drawing some stuff out. Don't have any replays unfortunately for this video, it's going to be more of a, uh, a very general uh, type discussion. Um, I'm sure you guys will see these types of setups in bases as you go through your own wars, but let's get right to it. Um, you guys can see in, uh, in these different little uh, scenarios, these parts of bases I've uh, laid out here, the town hall is theoretically over on the top right. So as we look at this first um, entryway, imagine that the wall record would path like this. You know, it can also um, go at an angle like that or like that, depending on where the town hall is. But the idea is it's going from bottom left to top right. And if on the opposite side of your town hall, you have this expo island, it doesn't have to be an expo in it, but it's often what people like to put in these uh, big compartments. It makes it difficult to uh, put a kill squad in there. Um, the reason is the uh, the wall wrecker might push through the middle here or something, um, but they, the uh, attacker has to get their troops to target this, assuming it's like bowlers or something, to target this expo here instead of going to the defense over here or the defense over here which are the same distance out in the base. You can see they're all in the same plane here, um, the same line, I guess. Uh, the attacker has to get the troops to target this expo, but if you put a trash building, like a storage right here and a storage right here, um, and these are defenses to kind of guard those storages, make it difficult to funnel, uh, there's a good chance, oops, there's a good chance that the attacker's troops are gonna go one way or the other. Also, even if they go in and uh, target the expo, um, there's a chance they might go out depending on what's over in here. And one of my favorite uh, things I like about this uh, expo island setup is that it's very difficult to funnel the queen into it. Um, so if you have a uh, small CC, you know, Valk's baby dragon, which is typically something the queen is good at taking out, um, this might be a good thing to put where the entry is likely to take place reason it's difficult is the queen to go in the base has to um, walk in and target something that's pretty far in because she has a big range. Oftentimes the queen will just target this expo then split one way or the other because this gap right here means there's nothing to bring her in to make her target that next layer and to push her inside this row of walls. So this is a great way um, in general to make troops go the wrong way but especially the queen. So consider putting this a little island with the uh, the walls extending out either direction on uh, the one side of your base opposite the town hall of course where the wall wrecker is likely to go and um, it makes it a little bit easier for queen walks but you can have air defenses other stuff up to shoot down healers and to kind of counter a queen walk if it's susceptible this next thing as we transition here is something i've been doing a lot in my bases and um, if you we're going to have a few defenses on the outside here. Once again, assuming the town hall is over here, we got the outside here, the insides over here in this theoretical base that would extend around this part. Um, it, it's good to, uh, to guard these outer defenses with a layer of walls that is two tiles away. So two tiles between the defense and the, the wall strip there. And what that does is it makes it so a bowler can't target it and a wizard can't target it. Those typical uh, troops that have that uh, the range but not like the queen's range or anything. And um, as long as you have like an air defense or like you know a few different point defense that can target air, a baby dragon will be tough to fit in here. You can also put a seeking air mine there as kind of a surprise thing. 
So that makes it really difficult to funnel. If the attacker wants to come in like right here, uh, going into your base for a kill squad, it's going to be difficult to funnel this off, and there's a good chance the troops might go and then like wander this way. So what this does is, you know, with the exception of maybe a suicide queen here to take this out, it makes it very difficult to funnel that off. And um, of course, that's going to lead to troops not going inside the base properly. So that's basically it. Just locations where maybe you have a compartment ends and then the base kind of recedes back a little bit and you want to have these defenses on the outside. It's a good idea to throw this. Uh, maybe, it doesn't have to extend that far. Just, you know, from a little past one defense to a little past the other to kind of protect those defenses on the outside, uh, make funneling more difficult. Um, this next one's very simple. In general, it's nice to have compartments running, um, how would I say this, perpendicular to the wall wrecker path. So if the wall wrecker is going like that, or as I said earlier, maybe at some kind of slight angle or something. But generally speaking, if it's going in that direction, you want your compartments running this way. Um, meaning that uh, bowlers especially, but other troops too, are going to wander off. They're not going to get the actual push that's desired. Um, sometimes having the compartments that line up with the wall wrecker, if the compartments are like this and like this, is only guiding troops in. And if there's bowlers, they can you know, target these compartments from the middle one and even get bounces farther off. So you're not really helping yourself in that regard. It's good to have your compartments oriented like that. Um, last one here. This one's a little bit more technical, um, and as you guys uh, heard, I've been talking about sometimes the wall wreckers coming at an angle based on where the town hall was located. So if you imagine this part of the base, the town hall was like up here, but like farther back, um, but the angle is going to be something like this. It's nice to have your walls like recede in the direction the wall wreckers entering because that's going to make funneling very difficult and it's going to make what the wall wrecker opens up not very effective because it's going to kind of, you know, take skim along and start to like take out um, the walls along this compartment, uh, along the outside edges of these compartments here. But what that does is um, it, it doesn't really push deep into the base. It kind of keeps the wall wrecker along the out, outer layer there. And um, it's also going to make funneling difficult because the troops are going to have to be dropped up here um, and the attacker wants them going into the base then like uh, farther in usually but uh, there's a chance that the troops are going to just go down target from the outside target from the outside because it's still moving in that direction but they're not actually inside the base so a little more complicated um, I would not recommend thinking about this one too hard if you're not an experienced base builder but um, Generally speaking, having those compartments along the edges kind of recede backwards along the direction the wall wrecker is going makes it difficult to get that nice push that people like to get with the wall wrecker and um, it's going to make it difficult for funneling purposes as well. So that is pretty much it. Um, like I said, a little bit of an old school, just using the Udoodle app here to draw some stuff out. So hope it was still helpful. And if you guys are interested in your own uh, custom war bases, I never miss a chance to give a shout out to my Patreon page. Link is in the description where you guys can get your own custom war bases each month. Um, but yeah, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and announce this now, but I'm planning on doing um, a extensive base building series for Town Hall uh, 9 through 12. So having guests on who are experienced, maybe more experienced than myself for many of these town hall levels, having them on to kind of talk through base building at each of those uh, stages. So that's something to look forward to. Hopefully can get that rolling. And uh, thanks for watching once again. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.